friends, welcome back to the shenanigans. Coming at you with a haircut and a new background because I'm back in Minnesota. I'm back in my childhood bedroom. It does not look the same as when I left it. And I've spent the last week unpacking it, kind of readjusting to life here right now and figuring out what the heck is going to happen next. But I have to chime in and tell you that even though I just got back from living in Taiwan for the last two years, I'm now taking another trip and I'm taking another trip with my parents. So it's literally just me, my mom and my dad. And we are going to Iceland. We are leaving this evening. It is currently 1.30 in the afternoon and we're gonna be there for about a week. We are going to go to the Golden Circle, we're going to go down south to the southern coast, we're gonna to go to Reykjavik. I'll take you guys along. So yeah, let's go to Iceland. Oh 
all I wanna have But we gotta keep on moving Towards the dream, to anywhere Where are we? What is this place called? Basalt, basalt cliffs. That's what we are.
say that you should absolutely come. They absolutely, absolutely loved it. And we are heading back to spend the rest of the day in Reykjavik and then going to the Golden Circle tomorrow. I 
Smoke filling up the throne room I reach for the hand that helps me to stand And I am there with you at last I Stay a little while 
We are in the middle of a field off the Golden Circle in Iceland. It's been a lot of jumping out of the car, seeing it different places. It's very windy, but we are halfway through day five here in Iceland and we are going to go to a tomato farm and have tomato soup and sourdough bread for lunch, which sounds fantastic because I am in need of some good Scandinavian sourdough bread. I mean, look at this. Let's go get some tomato soup. in Keflavik, Keflavik, the same city where the airport is. And tomorrow morning, bright and early, we are going to fly back to Minneapolis. We stayed in a yurt last night, which was so interesting. It was kind of at the very top of the golden circle, if you look at a map. So it was between the very popular geyser and Golfas, the most popular Golfas. Apparently there are a bunch of different waterfalls that are named Golfas, but now we're here in a very modern, very typical, basic hotel room. Iceland has been lovely. The weather has been kind of touch and go. The one day that we went to Vik, the southernmost point of Iceland, it was very rainy, very cold, and very, very windy. We unfortunately did not get to see puffins, which I was kind of bummed about, but we did see a whale. Oh my God. Easily the most stunning nature and natural landscapes I've ever seen in my life. It gives Lanyu a run for its money. It has felt like a full 180 from Taiwan, where in Taiwan, I nobody looked like me. I was a very, very obvious foreigner. I do not look Taiwanese. But in Iceland, a lot of people look like me. There are a lot of tall blondes. I do have Scandinavian heritage, and so I feel like one with my people. If you have the opportunity to go to Iceland, I would recommend it. For now, it is 8.30 at night. I'm going to shower. I'm going to go to sleep because we have to get up at the very, very, very crack of dawn because our flight's at nine. This is, I think, where I will leave you. I have no idea what will be coming next on this channel, so please stay tuned. Turn on the notification bell if you're curious, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for coming with me to Iceland, and I will catch you guys in the next one.